All right, let's look at the greatest common factor for 20 and 25. So the greatest common factor, you'll see this called the greatest common divisor, the highest common factor. I like greatest common factor myself. So what we need to do, we need to find a list of the factors for 20 and 25, then we can find its greatest common factor between these two numbers. So for 20, one times 20, that's 20. Two times 10, that would equal 20. And four times five, that's 20, but that's it. 25, we have one times 25, that would equal 25, and then just five times five. So these are the factors for 20 and 25. So for the GCF, we're looking for the greatest common factor. So one is a common factor, but it's not the greatest because we could also find five, and that is the greatest common factor. It goes into 20 and 25 evenly. So in answer to our question, the greatest common factor for 20 and 25, that's five. You could also use prime factorization to do this, but I think for these smaller numbers, this works a little bit better. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.